Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's so nice to have you here. I'm very excited. Today we have a Zillaboo haul. Um, I really love Zillaboo uh, Speed. I ordered this two days ago uh, and it got here. It always gets here so fast. Zillaboo is always super, super fast. Zillaboo has really high end Korean products. I've bought quite a few things from them over uh, the last year or so. This right here is my first time purchasing any Tiny polishes. Uh, Tiny is a Korean brand. It's not the size. It doesn't denote the size of the bottle. But um, I'm very, very excited for this haul because I've been eyeing this brand for so long. Um, and so I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. Hope that didn't just show my information to you guys, but you know, we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to the side so that I can look at this correctly. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, here's the thing. Let me actually just move this whole box out now. The thing about Korean polishes is that they come in like these cute little like packages. I've never bought uh, anything that came packaged like this. So I'm very, very excited for it. Um, and I wanted the beige collection because I just really wanted the, like a perfect set of neutrals. And this box is just so cute. Like this picture is beautiful. This trim of like hearts. It's just very pretty. Oh my gosh. Like, I feel like this, like, is just so cute. Like I'm going to be hooked now. Ooh, first thing I see are these glass tiles. I've never used these glass tiles to display the polishes before, but this will be fun to swatch on. Oh my gosh, this is just so nice. Oh my God, look at how it comes. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh my gosh, it comes with this little... I Every time I see these, I think they're so big, but this is little. This is so cute. It, it displays all the polishes. So you can display everything. Oh my goodness. And I just can't believe how well they package everything. Like this is just so nice. What I'm going to say is going to be kind of catty right now. But I have to say it. I watch Zillaboo hauls all the time. And Zillaboo... I love their products. I love them and everything they do. But they give, I feel like they've given out free gifts to so many people, but they've never given one to me. And I'm always like, well, but like I order so much from you guys. Why, why aren't I special? But I, I can't really even complain that much because like this is just so beautiful. This bottle, it's just gorgeous. So this must be a glitter because there's like glitter on the handle. So let's just take all of these out. Oh my gosh, this bottle is like scuffed. It's chipped. Hmm. Well, you know, it happens. This is interesting because some, okay. So the glitter ones have a shiny coat with the glitter on the thing, on the handle, and then the solids just are matted. Okay. Oh, this packaging, like, I don't think I've ever seen anything packaged quite like this. I'm going to have to put these all in numerical order in a minute. Okay. But, um, yeah. Zillaboo, if you're watching, thank you for sending this. I want to know why some people get free gifts and some people don't. Every time I watch someone unboxing Zillaboo, I see them with a free gift and I'm just like, What's the logic? Why don't I get anything? <laughs> okay, so the order that this is supposed to be in is 63. 63. So, okay, so this is a gem 63 and then this is a tiny 63. So they're different lines and they have color names, but the names aren't on the bottle. I'll tell you the names in a minute. Oh, Glint. 
soft beige. Okay, we're 64. 64 is crema. 65 is peanut. I'm excited for this because my favorite uh, neutral color right now is peanut butter toffee from Cocoist. And I want to see how the peanut tiny compares to the peanut butter toffee from Cocoist. They just have the same name. I don't know if they're going to actually be that similar. Okay, well, for a neutral. Okay, so 66 uh, it's called Sunny Cream. Where are you? 66. Okay, 64. Milky Way. is a, a gem. 67. Nutty. 68. Cocoa Brown. 65. Golden Dew. 69 light maroon so whoop. I'm gonna wait to use this swatch card at another time because what I really want to do is I want to swatch it on swatch sticks so I can add it to my collection immediately um I have my swatch sticks ready to go let me get these lined up now Okay, so we're going to start here with Gem 63 in Glint. Let's open this. Okay, so my first time using Tiny. Let's see. Oh, very pretty. Very, very pretty. There's hmm, a little something on this. What is going on with this brush? There's, there's something wrong with this brush here. Well, that's not a very good first impression. Let's try this again. I think it's just one hair is a little extremely long. Hmm. Let's see how the rest of this transpires because we're not off to a good start then. I know I shouldn't touch this with my fingers, but we're doing it. We're rolling with it. Come on, it doesn't want to cut. Oh, I full on touched that. Oh, the glitter is gorgeous though. Okay, let's try again and let me clean my finger off. I should not have touched that, but like, look at my finger. The glitter is just so beautiful and fine and delicate. Okay, let's let's try this again. Let's see if I have a better outcome now. Wow. What a pretty glitter. It has like a rainbow quality to it. It kind of reminds me of if I took the mermaid dust from Cocoist and I blended it with a clear. But this actually just feels way more gl glittery. I think I'm only going to do one coat of it because I think the point of it is to see what one coat of it would look like on top of other colors to really like zazzle things up, if you will. So I'm just going to do one coat of that. Okay, let's see this next one. 63 is soft beige. I'm hopeful for this. I'm very hopeful because I'm looking for the perfect neutrals. Ooh. I 
I like that a lot. It has like a peachy vibe to it, I would say. This applies very nicely. It self levels very well, very fast. Like that was like in seconds, it self leveled. I like that a lot. Okay. 64 is crema. Okay, let's talk about this bottle. I, I really like the handle. I, I'm surprised by how much I like it. It fits very nicely in the hand and like this is a nice little groove to hold it with. I like this handle a lot. The brush seems fine. I like this color a lot too. I love neutrals. I love them. This one is like already a fave. I can tell already. This is like high up there for me. I need my neutrals to have like a warm tone. I've learned. Like I love the way a cool tone looks, but I think my skin is just warm and I need a cool tone. I, I need a warm tone, not a cool tone, I should say. Okay, so this is 65 and peanut. So this is the one I'm excited to compare to how I feel about Cocoa West. Ooh, yeah, it is very similar to Cocoa West, actually. I've been wanting a color like this in a bottle. Um, I love Cocoa West in a pot, I really do. But if I am doing either like press-ons for a friend or I just want to be very quick with throwing on a color, like a neutral shade, wanted a bottle and I think this is great because this gives the kind of coverage I would want in just one coat. That's wild. That's so pretty how fast and it's amazing how fast it self levels. Like you can tell that like this is a very high quality product based on that. Okay, this is 66 Sunny Cream. Oh, this is very peachy. I like this. I think this will be nice when in the summer when I have a tan. Or even in the winter to give me like a little extra depth to my skin tone. <laughs> I'm kind of feeling like I only want to do one coat of each of these because I feel like, I don't know, Ugh. at one coat, like I feel like that's the color it's supposed to be. Let's just cure that really quickly and come back to everything. I'll do the half a swipe on the swatches to see what it'll look like with two coats. That's always at my MO, I guess. We'll give that a shot. But so far, I'm very, very excited. Very, very pleased. Okay. I did just like a flash care of 20 seconds. Um, because these are such sheer colors that like I'm not worried about them not curing. So I know I said I was only going to do one coat of this one, but I lied. I'm going to do two doing the half swatch. It's very dazzling. It's very beautiful. It's very uh, elegant, I would say. I like that a lot. It's very, very elegant. I think that'll look very pretty in like the winter to just like zhuzh up a nice neutral nail color in the winter. So back to 63, soft beige. Let's see.
beautiful. That's beautiful. That's so beautiful. I'm definitely like a neutrals kind of gal. Every once in a while I like color. Like this right here is Coco West's uh, grayish sheer ivory color with their diamond top coat. The diamond top coat has like white silvery glitter in it. Um, lately like this is as like fancy as I get on my nails. I love doing nail art either like on displays or for friends um, press-ons but like for me I just love like a very beautiful neutral. I really like this handle how it feels in my hand. Okay. It's so interesting. Like this ombre so well. I feel like I feel like these colors just blend so nicely that like I could see myself ombreing with this product line. Like not these colors because these colors are just so subtle. But if I bought like the more summery colors or just any other colors in general, the brighter colors, the bolder colors, these just blend so nicely. I could see them quite easily ombre -ing. and I don't know how to ombre too well like I struggle with it so I could see this being like a hack for me to like just like have a really nice quality self-leveling products to help me with it. it almost feels like these are so nice it would be cheating um to ombre with it because it's just so easy to work with and that's what I've noticed um, with these Korean and Japanese brands. Like, they're so high quality that, like, it makes them almost foolproof. Like, I don't know what I'm doing, and I can do nails with them. It's just very exciting to be able to kind of do that. I'm so glad I got this. This makes my weekend. Today's Saturday for me. It's a rainy Saturday, so I get to be home and cozy in my nail room. And this is a great way to spend the day. Just watching and just like looking at these very beautiful neutral colors. I'm very excited for these. I'm going to put these back in this container for now. Just so I can keep everything nice and neat. I'm in the middle of like organizing my nail room. So I'm not going to display these immediately. Uh, I need to get a new nail shelf. So I'm going to top coat all of this very fast before I move on to the second half of this beige collection. Oh, this, this like, it's just so pretty. It even reminds me a little bit of the Cocos Rainbow Top Coat, but this has actually more color to, in it um, and more glitter. It's very pretty. I'm running dangerously low on this top coat. This is McCart. No, it's Model Ones. I keep Model Ones for my swatches. Um, and I'm so low on this. I don't like using my more expensive stuff on swatches. It just feels like it's a waste. This is such a pretty peachy hue. This is very pretty. This sunny creme, cream, cream, 
Um, but yeah, let's let's hope that this gets through the next five swatches. Okay, we have sixty four gem sixty four Milky Way. So this is another glitter. Very pretty. This seems to have the same glitter as the other one, but in a more uh, rosy, like a muted rosy sheer with it. These bottles are really nice. Like I can open and close them with one hand. Oh, Tiny, you're very nice. This means I'm probably gonna have to buy more of you. That's very pretty. Let's see how it compares to the other one. I can't tell the difference, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we'll see after the they're all swatched. Um, here's this bundle swatched. Move on to the next one. This is 67 Nutty. Oh. Ooh. This is a deeper brown without it being like too opaque. It's a very nice brown. It's a sheer brown. It's a great neutral. I feel like this is a great set um, because you'll have neutrals for every person that you come across because these can be adapted so nicely based on how many layers you do. It really can just like match, I would imagine, almost every skin tone in some way. And um, there's a second half to this, the lavender collection. So I would say between this and the lavender, these two together, yeah, you would be all set for every possible person who would want a nude to come in and find something that'll go beautifully for them. Okay, 68, Cocoa Brown. Oh, this reminds me of a sheer version of the Cocoist Hazelnuts. No, not Hazelnuts. I'm blanking on the name of it now. There's a color in the concealer line that this reminds me of, but the concealer line is opaque and this is sheer, but it's very similar browns. Just their opaqueness varies. Okay, this is the final glitter in this series called Golden Dew. Let's see. Ooh, the glitters are on tight. Okay, so this is also the same kind of glitter. And it just seems to be a more beige background. So the first one was, I'd say, probably peachy. Second one was pinky. And this one's beigey. Which is nice. It's a nice variety, but it's all the same glitter. So that's cool. Okay, and then this one's called Light Moon. On the bottle alone, it reminds me of the almond toffee from Cocoa West. But, uh, well, this is slightly lighter than the almond toffee. But it has that gray -y kind of vibe to it. Very pretty. Um, they're all pretty. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to cure all that for 20 seconds. But this one already went in, so I can start in on this one. 
and we're gonna do the partial swatch to show what two layers look like. Very nice. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Nutty. Let's see about you. This uh, series is exactly what I wanted it to be. It's all the most perfect neutrals. Cocoa brown. Golden Dew, the glitter again. It really reminds me a lot of the diamond, of the rainbow top coat from Coco West. It really does. Granted, this isn't a top coat, but it's very reminiscent of it. Is just too much on this brush okay not enough now <laughs> I'm really struggling with this one So now let's top coat all of these so then I can do the final verdict of what I think of this collection. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Okay, let's put everything in for its final cure. And let me start cleaning a little. Can't wait to display these. They're such beautiful bottles. goes. 
the way it came. And he goes here. Oh, the detailing of this box is just so nice. Okay, so now, like, let me just clean up these little things that could have gotten gel on it. All right, let me pull these out of the oven so we can look over how this collection is. Okay, so here are my impressions. It's beautiful. It's very beautiful. Do you need all three of these glitters? No. <laughs> um, but they do have, I feel like this one's pinky. It has like a pink hue. Whereas these two, this actually feels clearer and this feels more beige. But do you need all three? No, I, you know, I think you should just get this one because I think it would go well with everything. It just pops beautifully over everything. But that's just my two cents. And now for these, I think they're all beautiful. I think they're all gorgeous, but for my skin tone, for like what looks good on me, it's probably either this or this. At least in the winter, yeah. In the winter, it's these two for sure. Um. But that's just how it would be on my skin tone. This is exactly like peanut butter. That's so amazing to me. Because peanut butter is one of my favorite. Let me see if I can pull out the peanut butter from Cocoa West real quick to show it. Sorry, I have so many neutrals that like... Here it is. Okay. That's wild. They're like very similar. That's exactly what I was hoping for to find another peanut butter, but in a bottle. This one's slight, like the tiny one is slightly more peachy, but they still, they're still so similar. And they're both called peanut butter or peanut, I should say. That's so funny to me. Um, but thank you so much for joining. If you like these kinds of videos, please comment below and tell me like, what you like, what else you want to see. Um, I am so excited to see how fast the channel is growing and I just appreciate everyone's support and please subscribe, please kind of support so that I know to keep going in this direction. Um, thank you guys.